Three, two, one, go! Wow! That's really heavy. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 269 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. <laughs> We're here in the small town of Gobernado Gregores. We had a really nice and calm night here on the side of the road. It seems like a really nice green town actually in the middle of the desert. Yeah, so and the only place which isn't windy in probably a thousand miles. So we had a good rest last night and let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and Today we're going to be continuing on the Ruta 40 up to Barrio Caracoles and then actually the road we're taking is not on this map but it goes from the Ruta 40 across here over the border to Chile and linking up with this road here. Another border crossing! <laughs> But this time we've chosen a pretty remote one. I think it's the most remote border crossing that we have attempted so far. It's called Paso Robayo and it's a dirt road up in the mountains and it should be very beautiful if the condition of the road is really good. So we'll find out. So we have a long way to go and we have to still pack a bumblebee. It's already nine o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. So we just had a look this morning and we found out that those bolts that I did up yesterday it's probably the first time I've had to get out our toolkit. We are skilled enough to tighten some screws. <laughs> yes. Actually one of them is now completely missing. Just here. There's still another one up there that I just tightened now. But they apparently came loose again on the dirt road yesterday. Careful. We have a new job for this morning. We have to go to a mechanic or a garage and see if they've got a bolt that can fit this. Should be pretty standard, so we'll um, make our way there first this morning and see if we can get something to replace that one before this whole thing just falls off. <laughs> Where am I going? Let's hit the road. Gobernador Gregores. That means like Governor Gregory. So they must have named the town after the governor of Santa Cruz, the state we're in, or one of the governors of Santa Cruz. So this place here, AGB, let's see if they're open. Um, have a quick look. Huh. I just need the word for bolt if you could look it up. Tornillo. Hola. Tornillo, um, uh, dos millimeter. Uh, the motorcycle. Uh, tornillo, uh, perdu. This one, uh, dos, uh, dos millimeter. Uh, aquí, uh, perdu. Mm, vamos a ver. I think he said he's gonna look. Aha. M mucho. Okay, see, si, see, si. okay, okay. Found one that works. Entra! Entra! Si. Gracias! Si. Yes, si. yes! <laughs> si, perfecto, yeah. Perfecto! Amazing! Our first mission of the day sorted. And the guy there was super friendly, super nice. He just got out that massive tin can full of bolts and was like, you know what, you'll find the one you want there. Yeah, I'm really glad that we found the right bolt <laughs> for it. Yeah, job done. So we've got one last stop in town before we leave and that is to go to the Panaderia. Woo! And see what goodie treats they've got for us there.
cool. Ooh, what's that? Is that a mini pizza? Oh, empanadas. Okay, I need to ask if these are vegetarian. Hola, buenos dias. Uh, empanadas are vegetariano? Ve uh, oh, jamón. Vegetariano? No, no just so, solo, solo sa. Okay, okay. Um, si, um, si, gracias. Is so, um, vegetariano pizza? Uh, tiene salsa y queso. Si, para queso, a si, pizza. <laughs> gracias. 800. 800, okay. Si, mire. Gracias, chao. We have goodies. <laughs> awesome, so we're just leaving Gobernada Gregores. We've completed all our missions in town and now it is 140 miles until we get to the next town which is called Bajo Caracoles and that's where we'll be making our turn off towards the pass over to Chile. Let's hope for less wind and a lot of sunshine. <laughs> is coming up ahead out of the middle of nowhere Bajo Caracoles I thought it was like a town but it doesn't look like more than just a collection of a few buildings and a couple of trees 140 miles later <laughs> oh, yeah wow Argentina is very 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 big <laughs> please have some fuel please 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 Oh, and a lot of bikes. A lot of bikes? Yeah. And you guys will never guess who <laughs> one of these bikers is. <laughs> but he is here. He is here. <laughs> Mr. Nikos. There he is, all the way from Brazil. <laughs> yes. With a new haircut. <laughs> How are you? Tudo bem, tudo bem. And this is Nikos's bike. Whew, this one right here, look at this. The Yamaha Tenere, insane. So Nikos has a present for us. Look at this. Lavi and Ollie stickers. Woo! Stickers for everyone. And look, he's already stuck one on his rear box. Look at that. And this one is your sticker. Yeah. Ah. Paranormal. <laughs> at Lucas Paranormal. Go and follow him on Instagram. We have to put one on ours. Yes, and there's one on the front. <laughs> Lovey and Ollie. <laughs> Ciao, <laughs> from, from Brazil? Brazil, uh, uh, There we go. Lucas Paranormal. On the box of dreams. Beautiful. Well, I guess our one can go here then, hey? Okay. Yes, Bye. yes, yes. Oh, Lavi and Ollie on the Lavi and Ollie box. We've nearly filled the whole thing with stickers now. By the way, Dave, you are still here. Your sticker has made it. This is actually a really interesting place. Look at this, it must be super old because it's made of stone. It's got these carvings in the wall. And have a look inside. <laughs> oh, 
full of stuff from floor to ceiling. And it's actually a hotel. And they've got rooms and a little dining area. It's a pretty cool little refuge in the middle of nowhere. Wow. So we just filled up here. Luckily they had fuel. So Nikos is good to go. We're good to go. And there are so many bikers coming here as well. It's like an overlanding biker mecca here. Okay, so apparently Nikos left his lights on whilst he was waiting for us here at the petrol station and his battery is now dead. <laughs> Ready? Okay, let's go! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so we've just got a couple of miles up here and then we'll be turning off we've already taken our tire pressure down to 28 in the front 28 in the back which seemed to work pretty well for us last time into the mountains Woo! <laughs> I love Nico's bike. It looks so incredibly cool. Yeah, look at it. Even the headlights look cool. He's got like these extra yeah. headlights on the front. <laughs> yeah, and incredible. like just the color as well. It's just yeah. like these are two iconic bikes riding together now. <laughs> Beautiful. And our plan is to ride together for the next couple of days up through Chile, through some beautiful mountain roads, do some beautiful camping, and just have a great road trip. This is our turn off towards Paso Robayo. Okay. Cien, cien kilometer! So it's now 60 miles to the border. Oh man, this wind though. It's not too great, is it? It's not too great, no? Yeah, it's not too great. No. So... Don't know, what do you think? Not sure yet. Okay. 100 kilometers is quite a lot, no? 100 kilometers is quite a lot. Yeah. So these bolts that we put in this morning already went loose. So we put some tape on them to try to stop them from loosening. But actually, we just had a little chat and we decided that it's probably best if we just turn around and head to another border crossing. 60 miles like this with this crazy wind and look at the gravel. I mean, it's super soft. We already slid around so much. So we decided it's probably safer if we just turn back and take a, a different border crossing. Okay, also we just dropped it. Dropped Bumblebee on the ground when trying to turn it around. <laughs> Oh man, I wanted to try it, you know, I wanted to just take it easy, try it, but man, that was just, that road is just unforgiving. Yeah, anyway, luckily we are not too far in that we can easily turn around now. Sometimes we have just to give up. Yeah, there is another border crossing, which is not that far away, which is more of like the main one, so we'll just make our way over to that one instead. Yeah. Buenos Aires, but Buenos Aires actually means fair winds. 
and to be fair there is a lot of wind so <laughs> yeah and the border of Chile is sort of over on the other side of this lake Armadillo. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. But so close, so close. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. How did it? Wow. Oh, I'm so glad that he survived. It was really close that Nikos was going to run him over. Oh my yeah. god. Oh my god. left the Argentinian side of the border pretty easy going the same old procedure we've done plenty of times now give them the passport do the immigration and then afterwards give them back the temporary import permit that I got given when we entered Argentina they double check it make sure that it's all good and they send us on our way easy as easy as we're a border pros now <laughs> so now we just got to do the Chilean side and we'll be on our way. At this time, we don't have fruits, we don't have eggs, <laughs> and we don't have cheese. Ah, uh, yes. We did it this time, we did it. No contraband. <laughs> we don't have to cook up dinner on the side of the border this time. Brilliant. <laughs> yes. Bueno. That's us entering Chile. Woo! So pretty easy stuff for the border, as per usual. But this time, actually they scanned our bags and she found some seeds in our bag. We bought a while ago a bag of seeds to be super, super, super healthy. But uh, we didn't finish them or eat them or yeah. And she found them and she's like, no, no, you can't take them. Yeah, so apparently they're really, really strict here in Chile about what you can bring in. I mean, we've had a problem now. Uh, three times coming into Chile. Yeah. Every time we've got something that we shouldn't have. They don't want us to be healthy here. <laughs> no. They're like, fruit, no way. Vegetables, <laughs> no way. That kind of old peas, no problem. <laughs> Take it in. Have a great dinner. Oh my God. Exactly. So anyway, we've got under 30 miles now to get to this camp. And we're all excited about that because it's been a long day. Let's just hope it's not too windy. Fingers crossed! Uh oh, here we go. So that is the end of the tarmac. I think from here on in, um, this part of Chile, we're going to be on the dirt roads the entire time. But I can already see that this is way, way, way nicer than what we tried to do earlier today. Oh yeah, definitely. As long as there's no gravel on the road, it's like we're flying along. It's nice. 20 miles on this road to the camp. Oh wow, it's really nice up ahead actually. Really nice, hey? Oh, wee! Wow. <laughs> nice. Just don't know if I need to air down the tires. I don't know, maybe we should, no? Yeah. Back to 28, let's do it should make the ride a lot smoother and with no gravel we're just going to be absolutely flying along what a location wow yeah it's so pretty here way to go chili way to make an entrance where's nikos whoa okay so we just lost nikos came back for him and uh he sort of went really far out the side. How the hell did that happen? Are you okay? What are you? What happened? Ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow! That's really heavy. Okay, go! Oh, oh, watch out! The box, the box! Any damage? 
What happened? In camp he... Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this stuff together. Two bike drops down. Yeah. <laughs> That's both of us, two for two. Yeah. It looks like Nikos is alright. It looks like the bike is alright. So, yeah, <laughs> 20 more miles to the camp. Yeah, it happened to the best, hey? Yeah, I don't know what that was about, really. Because uh, I guess we'll do some translations later and try to find out, but yeah. It's like one minute he was behind us and I was kind of going, where's Nikos? He seems to be... And then we came back and... Yeah. Way off the road. But anyway, it's all good. We're all in one piece. <laughs> Bikes are in one piece. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Look at this road! Absolutely incredible. This place, hey, wow. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. Okay, I can't look, I'm scared. It's too high. <laughs> <coughs> Oh my god, this road's really high up. Oh sweetie, don't look down! No, I want to look. <laughs> wow, epic man, epic stuff is going on here. Wow. Our planet is beautiful. Can you believe the view? No, I can't. I can't. Lovey's just going back because the GoPro just fell off of the stand at the front. It flew off onto the road. Can you see it? Okay, she can see it. That's okay. What's the damage? Okay, so this bit's cracked. There's a crack here. The lens looks good. Yeah. Okay. Turning on or not? Not at the moment. This is why we started our YouTube membership program. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> okay, rock and roll. Three and a half miles to go. I just saw a snake on the side of the road as well. A dead one or a live one? I'm not quite sure. Oh my god. <laughs> and we're just about to camp. Okay, there's a snake there, great. <laughs> ah! This one here. Yes! Ha ha ha! We've arrived in paradise! Woohoo! Let's have a look around. Woohoo! Let's do it! Look at this place! Cool! 
Oh, is this muddy? Well, here we are, camp is set up. Lavi is cooking up a beautiful, what are you cooking up? <laughs> I don't know exactly, it's just tomato sauce with some couscous and some sweet corn. Yeah. So it's quite sweet. There you go. And then we've got Nikos's Grand Palace. Have a look inside. What is this place? Look at this. This is, for, this is like a three-man tent for one person. This is insane. Hola. <laughs> but we have made it here to the camp after quite a bit of difficulty. It took a lot longer than we expected, actually. But look at the view we've got in front of us. The sun is just setting over the mountains and it's incredibly beautiful here. Well worth us making the effort to get here. I just can't believe this place. And also the dirt road is just so nice. I cannot wait to get on this road tomorrow and see what's in store for tomorrow, yes. really. Super exciting! But anyway, that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. No.